saying no to your clients. This is a hard one for a lot of people because when you start a business, what you want is transactions. You want clients in the business. But what happens is you will know soon how things go with a certain client. You'll understand that like a low budget client is the least enjoyable to work with because of the low budget requests they have. They're actually a low budget nature person. They don't like to invest in opportunities or in themselves. And so we all know it. The person who buys like the super cheap paper towels and toilet paper. And you're just like, you know, why, why would you do that? They identify as like, I'm cheap. I don't have money. So what they're going to bring is they're going to bring nothing but problems into interaction. And it's gone like this for us many times. A $10,000 client can say, sounds amazing. Sounds good. Where do I start? Limited questions. They just want to get going. And what they really want to know is, can you handle this for me? How much communication do you need from me? Not much. Okay, great. I'll sign, I'll pay, let's go. Invoices can be coming through, no problem. But a $300 client, a $400 client, a $500 client. Now, what do I get for this? Now, tell me again. Can you can you send me an email with everything that I'm going to get with this? Okay, cool. Then you deliver 15 revision requests. I'm still not satisfied. I expected more. And you know, at a certain point, you ask for it when you take clients like that. And so what we've realized, and I think you'll realize eventually too in any client servicing business is that you learn to say no. You know who your client is not. You know early in, hey, like what are you working in? How, what did you bring in last month? What are you looking to do? How much consistency and commitment are you willing to bring to the table? And if, you know, we, the joke that I always tell the clients is we like to work with Navy SEALs, not baby SEALs. So someone's like, I just want to do one video. I don't want to do a campaign. I don't want to stick to something consistently. We know that's not the client for us. It's, they're not going to grow. And so we, we don't want to be attached to somebody who is going to self-sabotage their own brand and then bring our brand down. And our brand has exploded over the last couple of years because we've been able to find good clients and also because what we sell to our clients works incredibly well. But to all the other markets, marketers and really to all the people out there that seek new clients, you need to just say no to the type of client you don't want. And what's going to happen is you're going to also reject the type of energy that person has. The people who have the perfect energy for you are going to come forth, partner with you, great relationships, and then they're going to send people that they know who also have the same energy frequency they have to you. It's going to keep going up. It's like a spiral staircase upward, but it all comes with you first setting the boundary and saying, no, I'm sorry. You don't have to ever be rude about this. You can just say, hey, unfortunately, I don't think I can actually offer you services based on what you're looking to do. I don't think we'd be a good fit for you. And that's as simple as it is, but this is something that took me a long time to learn and hopefully you can learn it sooner than I did.